Hi, my name is Chris Becker. I'm the executive chef at Francis Tuttle School of Culinary Arts. Um, today, I'll be making potato gnocchi with aged butter, uh, fresh herbs, and grated Parmesan cheese. So the first thing that you want to do uh, is take four large potatoes. Uh, what the salt does is it helps um, elevate it off the tray, uh, but it also helps season the potato a little bit as it's cooking. Uh, there are a variety of different methods that you can use. You can use a boil method, uh, but the bake method is, is a much easier one uh, with the potatoes. They'll cook in an oven um, for about 45 minutes to an hour at 375 degrees. So now that the potatoes are peeled and the salt's been removed, we're going to pass it through this tammy. Um, it started back when um, I was a young stagiaire. Uh, trying to find work in New York City. Uh, I just actually graduated from uh, what they call the VoTech. Um, here it's called Career Tech. Um, so kind of similar concepts as you're, you're equipping um, young students uh, with technical skills to, to go work. Uh, and so what I did is I had gone to culinary. That's what I had done. So um, upon completion, I was looking for work. Um, by chance or circumstance or, or you know, a wonderful mix of the two, I landed at Lupa um, and started there in 2000 um, as a young prep cook and worked my way up, uh, but eventually landed on the pasta station. Um, so for a year, I learned all about pasta cooking, um, how to cook the noodle, uh, how to handle them, how to sauce them, uh, and then had gone worked at a couple of French restaurants after that and then um, helped as part of the opening team at Del Posto. And Del Posto uh, is one of the finest Italian restaurants in the country, the only four-star Italian restaurant in New York City. Uh, very high-end um, Italian dining and food. Um, so it was there that um, pasta really became a focal point for me and something that I guess at some point during that the transition came from knowing how to do it to really it becoming a passion and something that, that I really sought to do. Um, development of doughs and pastas and dishes and just working on all that. Um, spent a lot, of, a lot of time and hard work learning about that um, from the gentle touch of a dough to the effect of mixing it for an extra five minutes, um, how changing the thickness of a sheet affects the texture in the mouth and all sorts of things. Um, so when I left New York, uh, when I left that city, um, and came to Oklahoma City, um, I didn't want to lose pasta making. Um, it, was, it was a skill that, that I didn't want to fade away. Um, and so what I started doing was researching and developing um, to what I opened two years ago was Delaterra Pasta. So I opened up a pasta company just <laughs> so I could kind of keep making pasta sure. and make sure that, that you know, I was doing that and that that passion that I have for it uh, could continue. Uh, and so what we do there is uh, extrude pasta through bronze dyes. We use um, small batch traditional methods um, and really focus on the craft of pasta making. Um, and so that, that way I can keep myself fresh and, and involved in, in something that I feel so passionately about. I'm just gonna set this here, a little bit of flour sprinkled on top. We're just gonna let that rest for just a minute or two. So for the forming part, uh, what we're going to do is cut off a piece, take a little bit of flour and sprinkle it onto the board and start to fold it and roll it. Into a long cylinder. So I'll start with cutting this. The next step would be sprinkle a little bit of flour over this because we're going to cut then you cut your pieces uh, the size that you're looking for. So typically you cut them about as long as wide. Now we take a fork. Uh, you can take a regular fork, a large fork, a small fork, all depending on the size that you're rolling. You want to take the cut end and you set that midway through the fork and then you take your thumb and you press so that the potato sits just like that. It's kind of puffing out a little bit from the sides and then you roll it right over and then let the end of the fork just pop into it just a little bit. So for the cooking, you want to use typically about two tablespoons of salt in a gallon of water. The salt is there only to help season 
uh, the pasta. And so small amounts at a time, I'm gonna go and add these to the boiling water. Now the sauce is really quick. Um, so we'll be able to mix that up while the gnocchi are cooking. So we're gonna take a little bit of the water to form the base of the sauce. About a tablespoon of butter. And I'm just gonna swirl this slowly over the heat just to melt the butter into the water. Um, you know, saucing is one of those things where, where it is a hot topic for everybody. Um, here in the States, uh, we tend to put more sauce on it. Um, and it's actually more about the sauce and less about the noodle. Um, in Italy, it's more about the noodle, um, and then it's complemented with the ingredients that are um, very in season, very fresh, uh, and very applicable to that time of the year. And they, they work together more as a partnership. And so you have the ingredients of the sauce, and you have this high quality um, pasta, whether it was um, crafted completely by hand, like the potato gnocchi that we just did, or whether it was done through the aid of a machine but still overseen and crafted. Uh, but taking those two high quality things and, and pairing them together to end up with a dish pasta. Um, and so what I've seen, what I've learned by working with some of the foremost Italian authorities um, on Italian food um, is about how to restrain um, the amount of sauce and what is going on there and how to improve the quality of the noodle and really um, bring that style of cooking, um, and so that very much shapes the way that, that I view that I view pasta. Some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And a little bit of this petite herb salad. So in here we have some micro basil, um, it's micro celery, some micro parsley. Um, you could just use regular of um, the chives and the parsley and the basil. And here you have it, potato gnocchi with aged butter and fresh herbs, grated Parmesan.